Hey guys, it's Zachary from Hardware Zone, and today we're gonna to be talking about these. It's 2025, it's the new year, and Singapore's broadband scene has, yes, there is a scene, has exploded. We've gone from just sitting pretty at one gigabits per second for the past decade to just in one year going all the way up to symmetrical 10 gigabits per second fiber broadband. That's 10 gigabits upload and 10 gigabits download. Now, what do we do with all this speed? Well, naturally, that means it's time for a router upgrade. And if you're going to be upgrading, you might as well go for the latest Wi-Fi 7 routers. Now, this video isn't about explaining the technical details of 10 gigabits per second broadband or Wi-Fi 7 technologies. This is more of a buying guide. Now, if you walked into a store today and saw all this, what are you going to do? Now, isn't Wi-Fi 7 the latest and greatest? How is it that we have a Wi-Fi 7 router that's just $200 and we have one that's $1,000? What are you getting for that price? Now, obviously, if money is no concern to you, you can walk into a store, just go for the most expensive one and be done with it. You don't even have to watch this video anymore and I think Asus will also thank you for it. But for everybody else, what do you get? What are the considerations for your home and your use cases? What I'm gonna do in this video is try to give you my insights on what these routers have and how it impacts the price. So we have seven Wi-Fi 7 routers from ASUS. Why ASUS? Because they have the most complete range of Wi-Fi routers out in the market right now, from your basic entry-level router to your sort of gaming bro router and everything in between. They sent the seven routers for this video, but by the time you watch this, I'm gonna guess they have even more out on sale. And it's also easier to compare within the same brand because you can sort of see a pattern with how they introduce features and performance and how it connects to price. Most brands have their unique features and perks. In ASUS case, all these routers from the most basic entry level to the most expensive have the same things, things like uh, easy QR code network setup, you have AI port detection, there's this AI mesh technology which allows you to mix and match routers to form mesh networks, you have built-in network security from Trend Micro, and if you watched our last video on router cybersecurity, ASUS also regularly sends their routers for testing and certification under Singapore's cybersecurity labeling scheme. However, the general wired and wireless technologies and features that we are talking about in this video should be the same across all products. Let's start with what I consider the essentials, your general purpose routers. But here's a little bit of trivia at first. Now, how do you know a Wi-Fi 7 router? It's usually in the name. Before Wi-Fi was sort of given its numeric code, Wi-Fi 5 was 802.11ac, Wi-Fi 6 was 802.11ax, Wi-Fi 7 is 802.11be. So if you see a be in the name on the box, it's most likely a Wi-Fi 7 router. All these three routers are dual band routers on the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. The interesting thing about Wi-Fi 7 and why it's such a compelling upgrade is because of MLO. Now MLO or multi-link operation is a new introduction with Wi-Fi 7 and what it does is it allows the routers to actually send and receive data on different channels and different bands simultaneously. This is the first time it's ever been able to do this and what this means is that when you see the number on a box for a Wi-Fi 7 router, that usually indicates the maximum theoretical speed that a router can do on multiple bands. With all routers, your devices can only connect on one band at a time or one channel at a time. It doesn't really make use of the full bandwidth, but with a Wi-Fi 7 router, this is actually able to hit that theoretical maximum. Now, of course, I'm oversimplifying this for this video. Like I said, if you want to check out techie stuff, you can go to howwarezone.com and read our articles. Got it? Let's go. So back to ASUS. This little guy here is the BE58U. This is the entry level model and it's most likely the free router that you get when you sign up with new broadband plans these days. As long as you stay below 10 gigabits per second, it has a 2.5 gigabits port so you can go up to 2.5 gigabits per second and four 1 gigabits LAN ports. Now it's not a fancy router. This is what 
you probably want to buy or get and live comfortably if you just want to upgrade your sort of wireless capabilities to Wi-Fi 7. Maybe you've got new Wi-Fi 7 devices at home, your smartphones, your laptops, but don't really want to upgrade your broadband plan. You can get this pretty cheap at about $219. So the next jump is a pretty big one because we go from $219 for the BE58U to about $559 for the BE86U. Now, it's more than double the price, but what you get is double the theoretical performance, the, the throughput speed of this router. And this is the first router in the lineup that you can actually get to experience 10 gigabits per second broadband because this is the first router that has a 10 gigabits per second port and all four of its LAN ports are also upgraded to 2.5 gigabits per second. Next up is the BE88U. Now this is slightly faster than this, slightly more expensive, goes up to 629 Singapore dollars. But what's interesting about this is that it has actually a lot more ports. So this is something you get if you have a very wired home and you've got a lot of wired devices. You've got four 2.5 gigabits per second LAN ports and you've got another four one gigabits per second port. And what's interesting thing here is that this has dual 10 gigabits ports. So you can actually have full symmetrical 10 gigabits internet. But the thing here is that this one port is an optical port. It's called small form factor pluggable. Now, if you don't know what this means, you probably don't need it. If you do need it, then this is probably one of the few routers that support it right out of the box. Next up, we have the mesh routers. Now, remember when I said ASUS had this thing called AI Mesh, which allowed you to mix and match different routers to create a mesh network? Well, that sort of still needs some setup. And if you mix different class routers together, you, know, you sort of be hobbled by the weakest link, right? With mesh routers, they are paired out of the box and they are identical in features to give you the best sort of speed performance and coverage that you can get. Now, why you would want to mesh routers is if you have a very large home or if your home has a lot of blind spots, maybe you live in a landed property with multiple stories and you want to create a sort of bigger wireless coverage for your home, then mesh routers are a great thing to invest in. If you're building a smart home or if you already have a lot of smart home and IoT devices that primarily connect via wireless, then mesh routers are also a great thing to have. Mesh routers are obviously going to be a little bit more expensive because you're getting two for one. They are usually bundled as a set with two units in a box and sometimes maybe more. Sometimes you get three, sometimes you get four. The whole idea is you want larger coverage for your whole home. What we have here is the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi BT10 and this is the first router in our list that supports the Wi-Fi 7 6 gigahertz band with the 320 megahertz channel. Now, very techy here. Again, I'm not going to go through, I'm not going to go into what all that means. Check out hardwarezone.com. But what you need to know is that this Wi-Fi 7 router here, tri-band router supports a wireless connection speed up to 18 gigabits per second. That's pretty crazy. And because of Wi-Fi 7's MLO, you could technically get that if you max it out. Now, like what I said just now, mesh routers are for people who usually want to connect wirelessly. So you don't really get a lot of ports here. This router does support dual 10 gigabits per second ports. So 10 gigabits in, 10 gigabits out, and a one little lone single gigabit per second port just in case you have another product you want to connect to. Now, if your home is so huge, or maybe you have so many devices that even a tri-band Wi-Fi 7 mesh setup is not working for you, this is the Zen Wi-Fi BQ16. It's, it's the flagship, it's the greatest of the greatest. This is a quad-band router. What's quad-band? It has one 2.4 gigahertz band, one new six gigahertz band, and dual five gigahertz bands. And you can use one of the five gigahertz band as a dedicated sort of backhaul. So you can be sure that, you know, your connection is stable and solid. This little thing 
supposedly, according to ASUS, covers all up to 8,000 square feet with zero blind spots. That's, that's pretty huge. With quad band, the BQ16 goes up to 25 gigabits per second of maximum throughput just on wireless alone. That's, that's pretty crazy. Um, Wi-Fi 7 MLO is doing a really great thing. Now, also, the BQ16 has more ports than the BT10. This has dual 10 gigabits ports as well, but it has two additional one gigabits per second LAN ports. So slightly more than this, but a lot faster and a lot more coverage. Lastly, we have our gaming routers. Now, like most equipment that are designed for sports or athletes or sports cars, for example, people normally equate gaming to performance. But gaming doesn't necessarily have to be the most expensive. Take this for example, this is the Tough Gaming BE6500 router, and it's actually the second most affordable router in this entire video. It is double the speed of the BE58U, which was the entry-level router we talked about right at the beginning, and it's just $100 more expensive. So technically, if you wanted uh, affordable Wi-Fi 7 router and you wanted more speed than the BE58U, you could go for the Tough Gaming instead, even if you're not into gaming. This is a dual band router, so 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands. It has, it doesn't have a 10 gigabits port, but it has all four ports are 2.5 gigahertz. What makes this a gaming router is a dedicated gaming port on one of the LAN ports and some other sort of game boosting technologies for wireless and wired connections. Lastly, we have the Ferrari of routers. This is the ROG Rapture GT BE98. This behemoth right here has all the technologies that we've talked about in this whole video in one router. Technically, this is very similar to the Zen Wi-Fi BQ16 mesh router, as in this is a quad band router. So these are the only two quad band routers in this whole video. It has the 2.4 gigahertz band, 6 gigahertz and dual 5 gigahertz bands, a total of 25 gigabits per second um, wireless throughput. But what makes this gaming versus the mesh system we talked about. Again, it's because of all the gaming technologies. So wirelessly, it's Wi-Fi 7, quad band, it's the same, but this has dual 10 gigabits um, ports. It has four 2.5 gigabits ports and that's one lone one gigabit port. I'm not sure what that is, but possibly for something low maintenance, but it has a gaming port, specifically game boosts on the 10 gigabits port, so it has the fastest port of all these routers. It also has all the other game acceleration and game boost technologies that, that you know, um, ASUS ROG routers have. It also has <laughs> the biggest antennas, right? Uh, and the most flashy lights. This is 1,099 Singapore dollars. And again, like I mentioned right at the beginning of this video, if you don't want to read anything and money is of no concern, you walk into a store, you get this and you get everything ASUS has to offer for Wi-Fi 7, whether you are gaming or not. Okay, that's it from me. We've covered a whole range of ASUS Wi-Fi 7 routers in this video, uh, features to look out for and how they impact price and performance. Is there anything else we missed that you want to know about? Hit us up in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out hardwarezone.com for more news, reviews, and features. And lastly, have a nice day. Now, how do you know a Wi-Fi 7 router? It's usually in the name. Before Wi-Fi was given, whoa. <laughs> okay, maybe not show the biggest box we have. <laughs>